What's up guys? Welcome back to the Bad Hombres. <laughs> we getting some rhyme going again. Welcome back. Uh, Jamie started laughing because I was centering myself. He so was... I could bring you the comedy that you deserve. Was... Rolls and moments. <laughs> Number one. Be Raul. Dude, when the fuck was the last time we played this game? <laughs> we We've been MIA for well, a week. Yeah. We gotta work. Bad hombres don't pay the bills. Yet. Hopefully. <laughs> now where do I go? I don't know. That, that's Everywhere in the tower? Or? That's, a, that's like a little red thing that's behind you. Red this way? Well, they were everywhere. They're probably all going to lead to the same place. Ah, uh, yeah. You're 100% right. Just from different vantage points. Oh, okay. Jamie likes to fall off. That's where I am, man. <laughs> So, so how oh, close oh. how close to the end of the game are we? Um from what I understand, pretty close. Oh damn. Um The annoying thing is yeah. puzzle piece update. <laughs> <laughs> Still didn't get it. <laughs> puzzle piece update. Get out of here. Just keep running forward. I like that tree. Yeah. Yeah, because like this game hasn't felt very because like I remember that like, you mentioned once, like you didn't feel like there was like a boss fight yet. And it's like yeah, like this game wasn't meant to be. Well, it's an adventure puzzle. Yeah, it's it's definitely melded the adventure like super super well together. Because like at the beginning, I didn't realize we had gone through a certain amount of levels. Yeah. Like the way that they did it, like it didn't even split it off, which was cool. It's it's an adventure. That it is. It's, it reminds me of Journey, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's got like pretty similar graphics as well, I guess. Oh, it's one of these. Is it the Lost Woods? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. So exciting. The question is... So, go ahead. Raul's most hated stages... Are um, like mazes and underwater stages, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just annoying. Okay, so is there any sort of hint to how Ooh. we should be going ahead here? Hashtag glitch. <laughs> any glitching. <laughs> I, I feel like I should just follow the green flames. There's so many of them. green and red, yeah. Or the tree. Should we just go to the tree? I'm just going to come out in the same spot. So, we might not even make any progress in this one. We'll show you we'll try. Oh, oh there we that's progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fucking waterfalls everywhere. That is super pretty. That is pretty damn cool. Okay, I'm going to go to the left, because Beyonce says so. But dude, the right is always right. To the left, to the left. Because Beyonce said so. <laughs> Do you actually enjoy Beyonce's music? I mean, in a in a setting, possibly. <laughs> in a setting, what does that mean? Like at the like, cl at the club? Yeah, at the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you never listen to it on your own, do you? I would. I wouldn't. I've I've never purchased Beyonce music. I've never put. Well, I'll probably put one on. On purpose, but <laughs> probably when you're making some dumb left. Ooh, ooh, that was super cool. Just because you decided to turn around, now yeah. you're here. It was it was like it was calling to me. I know, right? Hey, half step you go. Yeah, the reason why I ask is because uh, I think I I put the first like pop ugh song in my phone for the first time. The other day. Oh, okay. Uh, that bicycle song by uh, Ariana, whatever the fuck her name is. It's a guilty pleasure. The bicycle. I don't yeah. know it. It's. A, I mean, I could. I could play it. I guess. But well, I'm not gonna play it through this majesty of a game. I think we should play it. It's. It's about having. It's about having sex, Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Ariana. 
Grid, what is it? Grenade? Grenade? Grande? Grande or something, yeah. It might be Grenade. Grenade? I think it's Grande. Okay. Yeah, she likes Starbucks a lot. <laughs> I'm so glad you know that. <laughs> <laughs> she likes... Oh, spiral swimming there. Oh, dude, it's the only way to swim. <laughs> Oh guys, uh, Australian adventure update. Uh, finally went to the beach. Uh, Jamie was a dick the whole time. Oh, he, he thought I wasn't exploring enough, and I was just <laughs> enjoying the beach. I was encouraging. <laughs> All right, this is fucking cool. I'm so glad it wasn't like the like Lost Woods, and you actually, you know, did something. There wasn't like yeah, follow the wind. <laughs> There is a slight hum at every point you need to stop. <laughs> you can only hear this on max volume. <laughs> no one plays on max volume. Look at these crystals and everything. Beautiful, dude. Very nice. Have you... So Ryan's been out for, what, like a week now? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Actually, yes. Because we started playing it the first day. I haven't really heard or watched or seen a review. Oh, me neither. Maybe we can become a, a YouTube review channel. This game get I, what would I give it? I think I'd give it a seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> While you were thinking of that, I'm like, what could we review? Like, cars? <laughs> we, do, we play so, video games and review cars. <laughs> so you thought I was going in a whole different direction here. <laughs> No, yeah, dude, like, I'm not saying I don't like it, because, like, I just don't, review systems are such a, like, a pain in the butt nowadays. Yeah. Like, for example, like, for a lot of retail workers out there, there's that, um, there's a, the review system called MPS, mm -hmm. right? Which, if you don't, and same for, like, Uber or, like, Lyft, mm -hmm. if you don't get a five, if you don't get the highest, anything else means you fucked up. Yeah, but that's a fucking corporate bullshit. Right, exactly. Like, this is such a... I'd like to know how many people worked on this game, because like, I feel like it was just um, a very small team, or just the one guy. Because I remember reading about something, and it was just about the one... Oh, these guys. Oh, they're not going to let you buy They're not going to let you proceed. I'm just going to run my ass through them. Roll, roll. Squat. Squat. <laughs> It's like a good squat right there. Oh, oh. There we go. But yeah, dude, like the review system, like for games, it's kind of similar. Like to me, whenever I see like a review, most, like everyone's kind of taking that. If it's not a 10 or a 9 or above, like it's shit. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. I think 5 and below should be shit. Yeah. Because there's, there's got to be a medium. And in this world, it's fucking everyone. In, oh. Millennials, God, instant millennials. gratification, everything like that. Like it's it's just not that simple. I mean, that was instantly gratifying. You killed those was, guys, yeah. <laughs> but it took me too long to get to it, so it wasn't. Instant. <laughs> so no one will watch this. Is what is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm spinning this off topic. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> like. There's only a few games in my book that should, like, deserve a 10. Oh, and yeah. what, what are they? That's interesting. See, so, like, that's the thing. Sorry, the, the fucking shit, like, weird light right here just completely sidetracked us. Um, yeah, like, to me, it has to be a game that everyone can enjoy. Okay. Right? So it can't be, like, a Battlefield or a COD or something like that, because that's a very specific genre. And, like, f to be a 10, to be, like, a fucking, like, masterpiece oh, of a video shit. game, yep. any person should be able to pick it up and, like, enjoy it to an extent. See, that, that for a wide audience, yes, but, like, th there's specific things that people will enjoy, so I agree, but I don't agree as well, because, like, I still think mm -hmm. um, there's a place where some people will love, like, Forza. And those car racing games, I would not touch them, but people think they're absolute fucking genius. That's, that's true. Yeah. So, but go on. Yeah, like this, is, this is your opinion. So. <laughs> Basically, it's just 
it should be. I, I guess I view video games as a, like a an art form for to, for storytelling. Because mm -hmm. like you can tell a story via a movie. You can tell it via like a a TV show. You can tell it via a book. All that kind of thing, right? The fox is here. Video games are the only ones that you can actually interact with. So yep. you make the changes to the story. Mm -hmm. um, which is, that's that's what like video games are to me. Um, and it should just be like, this story you want to tell, right? Or this experience you want to give, that the player solely can change. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, so like, for example, multiplayer, like in COD, is amazing. Right, that's why it's it's such a big thing because every, like you're changing it on your own. Depending on how good you are, you've made this story of your character and his amazing like bouts through the war, right? Or this guy going through with his fox and shit. Oh, little Eric going through with his fox. Little, little yeah. Eric B. Um, <laughs> but if like, what's the difference between Call of Duty and Battlefield? And and you mean both of them? Like I. What do you mean? Like in the sense of a rating or in the sense of what? Well, you, you called out Battlefield to say that it's not one that you would pick and then you called out Call of Duty and said it was amazing. Oh no, I called it out in the sense of, I just called it out like talking very specifically about like telling the story of multiplayer. And right. that was everything, like Battlefield, same thing, right? So I'm talking about like in terms of a video game, right? Yep. When a video game like tells a compelling story, mm -hmm. where am I going with this? How can I? You know what? No, I, I get it. You you mean they're similar? Yeah. So you you think the same? It's just you used a different one mm -hmm. to exactly. explain each. Yeah, basically, and like they they have like the same concept down of the multiplayer, and I think that's why it's so big because even if you don't care about war stories and that kind of thing, it's still fun. It's still a video game. Um, but to be a masterpiece of a video game, you need to like, you need to kind of set some some rules, which yep. I'll talk about next episode. Oh, <laughs> got a little sidetracked, <laughs> and we'll. I think we made it through the maze, so we'll find out what this puzzle is next time. Thanks, Thanks guys. for watching, guys. Give us a subscribe if you like what you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs>